Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Harry's House of Hits. Trying to get some cards out of the way because I bought that fantastic lot on eBay that had all kinds of crap in it. And I want to bust out some of these cards, so we're going to make a short video with just the 1994 tops in it. There's 17 packs here. So we could find Billy Wagner's rookie card in here and maybe some other stuff. There's gold cards in each pack, so we'll see what we got. Hopefully not a lot of paper loss either, guys, because that's what we got to wait for. Hey, our artwork here, just throwing it out there, Sean Thornson does this work, work, so check him out online. And without further ado, let's get going on these packs. Um, let's see if I can get them open. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, 94 Tops is one of my favorite sets, but the problem with 94 Tops is this right here. Ah, look, there's one card that peeled off. There's a lot of paper loss in these cards, so... We'll just have to make sure we don't. Uh, we do the best we can here. Um, some of the fan, some of the big rookie cards in here. Um, obviously, we mentioned Billy Wagner already, but there's some good stuff in here. So let's keep an eye out, out for what we could possibly run into. Um, need both hands, I guess, to peel some of these apart. Come on now, come on, come on. Oh my goodness. There it goes. Jeff McKnight. And our gold card here is Ricky Jordan. Ricky Jordan. Gold card. Uh, we'll set the golds off to the side because I do have a stack. I'm going through all of my, my entire collection. And I'm going to put my um, card like gold cards, like Barry Bonds here. Like I'm going to have all my Barry Bonds together. There's a Griffey Jr. All-Star card. That's a nice little card there. King Griffey Jr. Lenny Dykstra. Chewing tobacco right there, 1993 Tops All Stars, okay, in the 94 set. But I'm I'm trying to organize all of my junk. I've got a bunch of stuff. Um, none of it's really worth much, but um, it is. However, um, I'm trying to break these up before I open them. How about that? And it looks like they're just they're all gonna be rough. Uh, but uh, I'm trying to organize them all so the gold cards will go in like all my parallels because um, I do have a bunch of like like parallels where you know you open a pack of cards and there's a parallel of a comment or something and you don't know what to do with it i'm shifting my camera here let me see if i can shift back there we go let's try that scott brocious i hope there's only one scott brocious card there nope there's two there paul sorrento we just had him in the last pack paul sorrento uh let's see craig grayback see a little bit of paper loss here not terrible uh pat boaters has a card behind him it is Felix Fermin. Neither neither one of those are cards I'm interested in hanging on to. Here's a the gold card. Nice gold card right here, folks. Is an Ozzy Smith, 1994 Ozzy Smith, and looks to be in fairly good shape. Tops gold Ozzy Smith. I'll take that every time. One of my favorite players of all time. You might say, hey, but you're a Cub fan. It don't matter. Watching the Wizard when I was growing up, he was the man. He's the guy you uh, you wanted to be like when you played around here, diving plays and making doing things that you just didn't think were possible, and he'd he'd pull it off. Not a guy who had the greatest arm in the world either. He just got it done, just flat got it done. Harold Reynolds, MLB, MLB Tonight, um, and also MLB Play Ball analyst on the MLB Network. There's two packs in. We got 15 to go. Hopefully you all are having a great day, evening, week, month, whatever you want to call it. However, however long you, however long it's taking you to finally turn this video on, I guess, and watch. Looks like we got Jose Canseco coming up here too. And this Jose Canseco card to me is just sad because he's a guy who was a 40-40 guy, and then he's fantastic, and then all of a sudden there he is, sitting the bench. All he can do is. Eat sunflower seeds, it looks like, because there's a bunch of seeds laying on the ground right here next to him. But that's a guy that I got dividing up in my collection, a PC guy. There's JT Snow. Um, JT Snow. I don't think I was keeping JT. Our gold card's coming up. Brian Williams. Our gold card is going to be Mike Lavalier. And we got a double. We got a double. Jeff Branson. We got two gold cards in this pack. Bonus. <coughs> Excuse me. Two gold cards in one pack. That is some good stuff right there. Some good stuff right there. 
Hang on just a second. I'm responding to a text message. I've got a bass boat I'm trying to sell. All right. Good deal. Um, Damon Barry Hill, longtime Cub. Brett Barbary. Brett Barbary there. Um, like a Jeff Bagwell sliding into the bag there. Jeff Barbary. Here we got uh, Cal Ripken and Jeff Blauser. And Andy Rice is the rookie card on the back. Some serious paper damage there. Put him up there. But this, I like these cards here because what you got is you got the starters, the shortstop from the NL, and the shortstop from the AL. And they're both on the same card. If you were to go back and look at the here, Barry Bonds, left field starter. Left field starter from the American League. Albert Bell. And then the King Griffey Jr. and Lenny Dykstra were the starters for the National League American League. Um, there. So, anywho, I lost track of my packs. I think that was three. We're getting down to four here. I think this is the fourth pack. Craig Paquette is the first card. Hey, Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer. All Hall of Famers go in the good stack. Chad Kruder, Mike Fetters, Tim Mauser, Tim Mauser. Kevin Pat, Kevin Robertson. Who we got here in the gold? Mark Carrion. Kevin Robertson. The gold cards. Mark Carrion. I'll put him over there. Cal Ripken. Boom. Nice card. No paper loss. Looks to be very well centered. And uh, Hall of Famer. Alan Watson. Andy Rice again. Seriously. Nice. That's fantastic. Mark Hutton. Andy Rice again. And then we got Danny, whatever his name, Mekalai. Mekalika hi, Mekahiney ho. Uh-oh, hit the camera again. My fault, folks. Let me get you back on, on center here. These packs are sticking pretty good, so <clears throat> they're causing me to uh, jump the gun a little bit, I guess. Dan Gladden, nice player to watch back when I was growing up. Spike Owen. <clears throat> Derek May. Card Juan Guzman. He, he came out and everybody was so hot after his cards. Dave Maganin, there's Kurt Gibson. Stuck to Steve Carse. I'm going to put Kurt Gibson down here because he should be a Hall of Famer, in my opinion. Steve Carse is our gold card. Dave Martinez stuck to Greg Hillard. Chris Basio. He's been a pretty good pitching coach in the. Major leagues. Butch Husky. He's a highly sought, highly touted uh, rookie back in the day. Ended up not being anything at all. But so my, uh, I was putting this set together, and then I ran into. Oh, we got a nice one here, guys. We got a nice one here. On the very back. No paper damage at all. It's still stuck. Uh, just a little bit. But we have got a Derek Jeter. Prospects, right there, 1994 Derek Jeter prospects. This one here is Jason Giambi and David Bell, so that's not a bad card. But there you go, Derek Jeter, jackpot. I'm gonna tell you what, I don't typically do this when I'm opening my own cards. I normally wait until the end, but well, we might as well go ahead and put this one in a sleeve and case it up because I do have the set, but it's in the set. I didn't uh, pull it out of the set and put it in a hard. I think I've got it in a hard sleeve, but it's in the in the actual set. So there's the there's the Jeter. Okay, we were looking for Billy Wagner, and I said there's some other ones. Well, there's Derek Jeter, prospect. Not necessarily his rookie card because his rookie card actually be an 83 tops, but that is still a pretty nice card. Craig Parquet, Greg Olson, John Allerud, Vinny Castillo, Moises Alou. I think I've got Moises pulled out too because. His numbers are, like, just good enough to not be in the Hall of Fame. Like, barely, barely, barely kept out of the Hall of Fame. This is Frank Viola. Holy cow, that is cool. Scott Cooper actually played against a team he coached in college. Uh, he was at Fontmont University, Scott Cooper was. But here we got Frank Viola. That's sweet. Gerald Perry, Gerald Harris, and Greg Swindell. But that Frank Viola, that is neat. Way off-centered, but pretty cool for a gold card there. Next pack. 
I feel like we've done pretty good so far. Pull the Jeter. You can't go wrong with that. I mean, you pull a pull a Jeter before he's actually in the major leagues. It's it's pretty good stuff. Man, these are not. These are really kind of. They're sticking together, but they're not. Like it's interesting. Barry Larkin first card right off the top. That's our second Barry Larkin of this this break. I say this break. I mean, these are these are my cards. These are going to my PC. Will Clark, Bud Black, and I can't. I can't remember if I pulled... Let's set Will Clark down there. Bob McDonald. Robert Mejita. There, Craig Shipley is our gold card. Robert Mejia. I don't know if you guys are fans of Robert Mejia. I didn't want to miss out on that card. Here's Craig Shipley. I think that's the Brew Crew. No, that's the Mets. He's with the Mets. Craig Shipley. Pretty neat card there. All these gold cards are neat. Um, I've always thought about putting a gold card set together, but uh, my guess is it's probably going to take you an eternity to put it together. So I've never really done it. Randy Ray McDavid. Ray McDavid. Carlos Quintana, David Need, and Luis Aquino. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs to go. We've opened seven packs so far, so we're getting there. Hopefully, you're all. Sitting tight, hanging hanging with me here, and uh, getting through this. See if we can find another one of those Jeters. That'd be cool. I'd still like to see the Billy Wagner. I'm pretty sure he's the he's Series One. Um, pretty darn sure of that. Um, series Two actually has like King Griffey Jr.'s base card and guys like that. So they split up the series uh, with your stars. So Danny Jackson, Terry Mulholland. That's interesting. Two lefts from Philly, Philadelphia, right next to each other. And then follow that up with another lefty from Cincinnati, John Smiley. Chris uh, Huddles, Hoyles, Phil, Phil Hyatt. Making sure there's not any other cards stuck to these. Another couple of duds there. Actually, three of them because I didn't see this guy stuck. Oh, that's our gold card, Rich uh, Monteleone from the New York Yankees. Rick Monteleone. Danny Nagel. Nice, uh, hot prospect coming out there is matt williams and wade boggs all-star next pack number nine we got nine left so in that box that i've got i got um you guys have to go back i had um some hockey and some football that open up and things like that and there's also some score from 91 holy cow this pack is fantastic actually um but um i've got some donners and some leaf and some other stuff that i've I'm going to open up just because I, I got it. So pay attention. Hit that uh, subscribe button so you can see when I do these other videos. There's Will Clark again. Andy Bennis. And the gold card is going to be none other than Doug Jones. Oh, and a Wally Joyner right behind it. Well, right there, Wally Joyner. Another gold card. Two gold cards. Joe Girardi. Uh, Mike Stanton was one of the better left-handed relievers in the day. Uh, pretty nice card right there again. King Griffey Jr. Anything with King Griffey Jr. on it's good. Paul Carey. Rookie card. Here we go. Hey, only eight packs to go. We're cruising along here. I can't even see the time of this video, but I bet it's like a million hours or something. Here's Charles Nagy. Let's see. See, this is stuck together a lot more than that last pack was. Charles Nagy. Good, good player. Charles Nagy was a great pitcher. Anthony Young. You know you're a good pitcher when they're trying to get you in uh, trade talks uh, at the deadline and they're trying to acquire you to take you to the postseason so they're better. John Ellerud, I want to put him over here because I think he's one of my uh, common cards I, I'm, I'm keeping around. And it, obviously Edgar Martinez, uh, Hall of Famer Edgar Martinez. Here's uh, Kevin Rogers, not to be confused with Kenny Rogers, but Kevin Rogers. Here's Scott Cooper again, Fontbonne's head coach. And a gold card of Greg Colburn. Montreal Expos. Montreal Expos, might I add. All right, there's Derek Lillenquist and Gerald Perry. Greg Harris. And a rookie card of Frank Rodriguez. And then finally, in the very back, is a checklist. All right, next pack. Only seven packs to go. And we got another all-star card on the back end of this. Looks like the Bonds card again. Alright.
Pedro Martinez. There's a nice card. Pedro Martinez in the Randy Johnson card. That I, I don't know why they choose that card, to be honest. But that's pretty darn good two pitchers back-to-back. -back. Two really, really good pitchers back-to-back. Alan Mills, Rich Lewis, Richie Lewis, and then Vinny Castilla. Whatever happened to Vinny Castilla? He used to kill the ball in Colorado. Just kill it. He'd murder the ball. Gold card's going to be Pat Listash. If this was 1994, I'd be going, oh my gosh, that guy's awesome. He's going to be fantastic. And right behind him is Raphael Belliard. How many packs have we had where there's been two golds back-to-back? -back? That's pretty awesome. Pat Listash and Raphael Belliard back to back. There's Ken Hill. Omar Dahl. Omar Dahl. And then you've got Randy Myers and Jeff Montgomery. It's all star cards. And it's the first all star card I'm going to put in the common stack back there. And Barry Bonds and Albert Bell. So Barry Bonds goes in the good stack because at least Barry Bonds. Uh, you can say what you want PEDs, whatever. I don't care what you say. Barry Bonds is still pretty darn good. Trip Cromer. See, this is one of the... See these cards sliding? Some of the packs come out, and they're really nice. And this is where you wish that you'd find all your good cards. Bud Black. Bill Spires. Randy Knorr. Jose Guzman. Not to be confused with Juan Guzman. Juan Guzman was the really good pitcher, and I said, Oh, there's a good gold card. A Cubs got Jose, and I thought, Yeah! Oh, wait, it's not the same guy. Kenny Lofton gold card. Kenny Lofton gold card. I've got Kenny Lofton in my PC. I'm collecting him a little bit just because that's a sweet card. The card behind him is the line of shields. It was fun to watch. Dave Martinez. Carlos Quintana again. Alex Gonzalez and Trip Cromer. Alex Gonzalez. <laughs> Some of you may remember Alex Gonzalez. He was the shortstop that made the air. Um, in the the game with um, the crazy guy down the left field line, names escape me for some reason now. The uh, oh my gosh, what was the guy's name? The goofy guy that Cubs playing the postseason against the Marlins and Moises, Moises Salu come over, tried to catch the ball but couldn't because this guy stuck his glove out and it wasn't actually him that touched the ball it was someone else and he got in trouble for it and everybody threw their beers at him and all that stuff I've actually gone to Halloween as that guy before um, I feel bad for him I can't remember his name that's how bad I feel for him though it's just blanking me you know you get to old you get old and you start doing that kind of stuff Phil Plantier and Cal Elder both those guys were very very big time prospects um, back in the day Felix Fermin again, and Alan Mills. There's Robin Ventura. I think I got Robin Ventura. I'm going to put him down there just in case. Hey, we've got our draft picks. It's somebody other than the guy we've been getting all the time, and that is Mike Bell, who's also not good. Marvin Freeman. Ken Hill. Omar Dahl. We've seen him a couple times. Danny McAlai. And Domingo Jean. Hmm. That pack sucked. Robin Ventura was the best card in that pack. Did I pull? I don't know if I pulled a gold. The gold card is the rookie. I was just thinking that. I just didn't pull a gold card, but the gold card is the rookie draft pick. That's kind of cool. Makes that card a little cooler. The fact that it's cold or gold and not uh, just some dumb rookie that not, didn't ever make it. Oh, here we go. Willie Banks is going to start us off here. And my daughter's been watching that show Outer Banks on Netflix. I haven't been. Eric Anthony, own oh, Lando Merced. Sandy Alomar. He was so such an, he's such an underrated player, Sandy Alomar. And I think his offense, looking at his um, average, he was a 263 career hitter by 94, by 94, or after 93. So it's like he was some kind of good. But I think his offense keeps him out of the out of the hall talk. Mike Stanton Gold. Here's Frank Viola again. Maybe Frank Viola is also gold. It's not. But that's okay. We've already got Frank Viola gold. Ricky Cudieras. Mike Stanton again. Here's Wade Boggs and Matt Williams. 
the strike happened in 19 whatever it was and Matt Williams was on pace to break the home run record and they and hey, what a guy he what a bummer deal he had he had a chance to do something and wasn't able to do it Jason Jambi's uh, rookie card is on the back of that we've seen it already or I'd show it to you again here we go this is that all-star game card that I put in the common pile Scott Livingston Charles Nagy and these this pack is pretty stuck I'm going to have to go one at a time through here. Oh, rip. Craig Lefferts. A lot of his card is missing. It's on John Jaha's face. These ones are really sticking together. Mark Witten. Hard hitting Mark Witten. The guy could hit a ball a long, long ways. Hey, there's Jay Bell. Tops gold card of JT Snow. And it's a Tops gold. Tops gold uh, cup in a gold card that's pretty neat uh, let's put JT snow there I can't there again I can't remember if I've got JT snow in my PC or not so I'm trying to just make sure all my cards are organized a little bit Carlos Hernandez Javi Lopez future stars and it's damaged now because it's stuck to this other card but it's still a fun card to have there's my all-star card that I'm gonna put in the Commons Randy Myers and Jeff Montgomery Javi Lopez right there. His future stars, I believe that's his rookie card. Because he did nothing the year before. Of course, he was up with the Braves in 92 as well. So maybe there was another card, but that's pretty cool. I do have Javi Lopez in my my uh, PCs. I'm going through those. <clears throat> so I'm taking a baseball card box with like four different rows in it. And I'm putting labels, almost like if you went to the card store... And uh, putting like all the Javi Lopez's together and all those other, I mean, they're just trying to organize them a little bit so it's um, a little bit easier for me to get to cards if I know somebody's looking for somebody or something like that, I could get to them. Um, or if I'm just looking for a certain guy. Cal Edward, William Banks, Kurt Manwelling, Kevin Rogers, Julio Franco, Jeff McKnight. Our gold card right behind him is Blast Miner. Never heard of them. And a J. Bell. There's two gold cards in this one. Fantastic right there. And then we got Huck Henner. Bob Wickman. Mark Thomas. And then we have these four guys. The never made it prospects. I'd rather see that Jeter card again. That'd be cool. So for, for let's say 40 bucks, I bought all these cards. And I'm going to tell you, for 40 bucks, could I go... Uh, to the movie theater and have a drink and enjoy a movie and have this much fun. I don't think I could. And I've got a t I've got a whole box of cards still to open up. There's still a bunch of stuff to do. So it's not like I'm done. I mean, for forty dollars, what? That's a, that's a lot of entertainment. We got Randy Johnson right here. There's the card of him dancing. I don't know what he's doing. I guess somebody hit a ball over his head and he's dancing or whatever. Dean Palmer. That was a, he was a huge uh, he was a huge get. Chad Krutner, that's got paper loss. Bobby Munoz, paper loss. Orlando Merced. Kevin Robertson. I see that card and I think it's Sammy Sosa. But Sammy Sosa is not until Series Two. He's in Series Two. Surprised that I would know that. It's probably because I opened a whole bunch of these looking for him and then realized I didn't see one of his cards. There's Doug Henry's gold card, and I was kind of getting upset about it, and then I looked it up. And I'm like, oh, you dummy. Brett Saberhagen, Dennis, uh, whatever that guy's name is, Mark Hutton, checklist, and then there's Alex Gonzalez. The Steve Bartman game, that's what it was. He makes an error in the Steve Bartman game. If he had just turned a double play like he he does nine times out of time, ten, or ten in his sleep, then Steve Bartman isn't even a... You don't even remember Steve Bartman because the Cubs go to the World Series that year. Mark Pryor's on the mound. And he gets a tailor-made double play. And, like, fills it like a junior high kid. Like, his glove... Like, he swooped down at it. Like, his glove came down to the ball. It was just goofy looking. i never seen anything like it. But, you know, he could have helped Steve Bartman out a whole lot if he just filled the ground ball. So, anyways. Hey, Derek Jeter right there. Derek Jeter prospects card. 94 tops. And in great, great condition. No paper loss. That one came out clean, clean, clean. It was on the very back of the pack. Um, you got Randy Johnson. You've got J.T. Snow there. Gold card. 
Kitty Lofton Gold. There's a couple of Randy Johnson again. Pedro, Edgar Martinez. Some good stuff in here. I can't argue with this stuff. Jason Jami twice. Kirk Gibson. Kyle Ripken Jr. Barry Larkin's in here twice. There's the Ozzy Smith gold. I forgot all about that. That's a sweet card. So we did all right. For forty dollars. For forty dollars, and there's more to go. There's more cards to go. I've already opened the hockey and the football, and there's not I got some cards out of that stuff too, and the wrestling cards. So um that's it. That's it for the 94 Tops video, Series 1 packs. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed watching what we're doing here. Thanks again to Sean Thornson for the artwork. And as always, that's a call sign for us here. Harry Carey, take it. Cubs win! Cubs win! Cubs win!